Hello, hello, grade 12 learners. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Today, we will be dealing with what mathematical literacy when it comes to the topic of what tax rebate. So, we must be able to calculate tax rebate. This question, we will always find it, or uh, uh, this topic, we will always find this in paper one. So, but now, for us to calculate a uh, tax rebate, we must first calculate the taxable income. We must first calculate what the taxable income it will be uh, unfair for us to calculate what to calculate uh, what is this to calculate tax rebate without finding what taxable income we must be able to calculate taxable income before we calculate what we calculate a uh, tax rebate before we start to calculate what tax rebate tax rebate so this is how it works for us to calculate a uh, taxable i mean for us to calculate a uh, tax rebate we must first be able to calculate what taxable income and once we make a mistake while calculating what taxable income that means our tax rebate is going to be wrong because now this thing is a chain for us to calculate the tax rebate, there are numbers that we have to borrow from taxable income or take them from taxable income. So that means once our taxable income is wrong, that means uh, our final answer is also going to be wrong. So now let us kindly look at the question paper so that we can be able to answer because we will be answering a uh, one uh, five point one point one, which is a uh, five point one point one. We will be dealing with 5.1.1. Kindly look at the question paper so that you can see what we are talking about. My question paper is in the form. Marius, who is 64 years. 64 years, I think it's very important for us to know it. We must just write it down. Marius is 64 years old. 64 years. That's also important. They are saying that Marius is 64 years old. And Marius, and what? an annual taxable income of 551,762 that amount is also a uh, it's also important they are saying he's earning what he's earning 551,762 that amount comma zero zero that amount is very important we must know it so while you are reading the statement, those are some other important things that you should note down while reading. And then they say, for the year of 2019 and 2020, for the year of 2019, for the year of 2019 or 2020. That's also uh, very important to know as a mathematical learner. So duration, I mean the during, during the 2019 tax year, Marius was not a member of medical aid that's also important marius was no not a member of medical aid was not a member of medical medical aid was not a member of medical aid or fund so that means marius was not having what a medical aid so these things they are very important to note down while uh, uh, studying our our statement so now let's straight go to what to the table the table it says a uh, tax rebate for 2019 or 2020 tax year it's from 1 march 2019 that's also important that we should know as a uh, people that are writing mathematical literacy it's also important it covers from what 1 march comma 2019 to 28 February 2020. So that means it is very important to know this because in a question they may ask you that tell us uh, that this taxable income covers for how many months or covers for which year and which year but we are not sure whether they asked us uh, such a question. We will find out while reading our question. Then here they are what? A uh, tax bracket. We have tax bracket number one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So those are the things we, we must go through every detail that is written down. And then now there is a taxable income, which is we have taxable income from one uh, until 
195,850 and then text bracket number 2 we have what? 195,851 until 305,850 text bracket number 3 we have what? 305,851 until 423,300 then text bracket number 4 we have what? 423,301 until uh, 555,600. And then uh, text bracket number 5, we have what? 555,601 and then until uh, 708,310. And then text bracket number 6, we have what? We have 708. Uh, 1311 until 1, uh, 1 million uh, 500. And then uh, text bracket number four, we also have what? Uh, 1.500 million uh, and one. So, now, how do we see that Marius falls in which bracket? And then on this side, we have what? A uh, rate of tax. As they are written, their rate of tax, which is the first one, it's written uh, 35,253. Uh, plus 26 percent of a uh, taxable income above and uh, above what above a uh, hundred and ninety five thousand eight hundred and fifty so before uh, let us just go straight to tax i mean uh, to tax rebate so tax rebate with a uh, primary we have secondary which is primary it's people that are below 65 years and then now remember now we are we are we, we are now collecting our data because uh, we are saying that primary is for people who are under what 65 years, which is Marius is 64 years. Now we are having some little uh, information about this thing, and then now we move to secondary. Secondary is for people who are uh, age of 65 and older, and then tertiary is people who are what uh, 75 years and older. And then now these are the credit uh, uh, medical credits. Per month for medical fund members. Remember, we said Marius do not have what medical fund does not have medical fund. But now they are showing us that people who are having medical fund, these are the medical fund that they uh, they they qualify for. So now let us just go to straight to the question, which is one point. I mean five point one point one. It says identify. Which tax bracket Marius falls in based on his taxable income? We must identify which taxable, I mean, uh, which tax bracket Marius falls in. Remember, we said tax bracket, we have tax bracket number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have to identify which tax bracket does Marius falls in. So based on his taxable income we must understand english based on his taxable income what is the taxable income for marius this is the taxable income for marius this is the taxable income for marius so now when they say based on his taxable income do you see his taxable income there in the statement on top it says 551,762,00 so we have to identify how do we identify we go to what taxable incomes in the table do you see the taxable incomes? We go there and look at the amount that uh, Marius fit. But if it does not fit, that means Marius does not fall under that uh, taxable income. I mean that tax bracket. Tax bracket number one, it does not fall there because tax bracket number one, it says the largest number is 100, uh, 195,850. And remember, Marius is in what? 551,762,00. So that means he does not fall there. And then now, let's try to go down. I think Marius falls under bracket number four because under bracket number four, it covers people who are getting what? The taxable income of what? 423,301 until 555,000. Uh, 600. Now remember, the amount of Marius is what? 551,000. And here it covers from uh, 423,301 until 555,000. That means this amount of Marius is in between. 
So that means Marius falls under text bracket number four. Text bracket bracket four. You get your two marks. Those are the split marks. Now we move to the second one. 5.1.2. So let us hear what does 5.1.2 says. It says calculate the amount of tax Marius must pay for 2019 and 2020 tax year. Remember we said this is also important. How much does Marius have to pay for this? So now we have to calculate. How do we calculate it? It is easy. We go to text bracket number four. Remember, we have already found that Marius falls under bracket number four. We go to text bracket number four. After going to text bracket number four, we now go where? to the text of, I mean, rate of text. We write it the way it is. It is, says uh, 100,263 plus. 36%, write that percent, you don't uh, move it. And then it says of taxable. Let me clear here, here so that I can have a space. I want you to follow me, don't be lost. We said it's 100,000, the way it is. Do you see that it's written? 100,263 plus 36 percent of taxable taxable income income above above what above this number we'll write it down so that it can be big so that you can see it above uh, 423,300 so above this number so how do we do is here we must remember the rule of both mass. When we talk about the both that uh, both mass, the big number it must start. It cannot. We cannot start with the small number. So when I talk about the rule of both mass, we are simply saying that a uh, second as or the second line of this thing. So that means we are saying that we take this hundred thousand two hundred and sixty-three the way it is. It has been started to work. We have to go down with it. Hundred and twenty-three thousand. It goes down. And then we also take the percentage. We also take what? The percentage. We take it down before we start doing what? Calculating our formula. After taking the percentage, we now have to do what? Open the bracket. After opening the bracket, we take the amount, the taxable, up, uh, taxable income of who? Of Marius. We write it here. 551,762 comma zero zero and then after writing it we minus this number the number that is written there we minus what we minus this number which is four hundred and twenty three thousand three hundred we minus it and then we close the bracket after closing the bracket we now uh, calculate this number we take this number and then we minus this we get the answer and then we don't write it anyway we take this 100,000, we go down with this 100,263, and then we say what? We say plus. After saying plus, we now have to do what? We have to open bracket. We, now, we want now to use what? This 36%. We will write 36%. After writing that 36%, we have to times. With what? With the number that we found here, with the amount that we found in these two numbers. So now, let us uh, punch our calculators and see what does it gives us. So on my side, it is giving me that uh, it is uh, 128,462. Close bracket. After closing the bracket, we now have dealt with this. Don't be lost. Remember we first wrote this number the way it is. After writing it, we took this 100,263, 100, we wrote it here the way it is. And then we also took the percentage the way it is, we wrote it here. And then we started to open the bracket. After opening the bracket, what did we do? We went to what? 
the taxable income of who? Of Marius, which is 551,762,00. And then we minus it with what? With the number that is written, taxable income above 423,300. That means we took the number from where? From the tax bracket number four. And then we minus it. We took the taxable income of who? Marius. And then we started to minus it with what? With the number that is in the taxable income. And then now, we did what? We took this 100,263, we brought it down. After brought it down, now we put the sign of addition, which is plus. And then we open the, black, the, 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 the bracket. After opening the bracket, we now take what? We now take this 36% and then we write it here. And then we times it with the number that we have calculated here. I hope we are all following. We took this number, we calculated it, and then we started to put the answer there. That's how we calculate it. So now, our answer is not final. We still have to continue. How do we continue? We take this 100 again. We go down with this 100,000. We take this 100,000. Uh, now we are now uh, using this 100,000. We even take what? This plus. We take this plus. We plus it there. After plusing it, we now calculate this amount. 36% times 128,462. Punch your calculator so that we can find the, the, the answer of yeah. That is the one that we are going to put here. On my side, it says uh, 146,000. 246,32,000. That's my answer. That's the answer that I found. And then now we continue. How do we continue now? We have to plus these numbers. I can remember we plus these ones. They gave us this one. Now we have to plus this one and this one. And then they must give us the answer of here. And then what is the answer of here? On my side, it gives me a 146,000. 146,509, which is here, it's 46,000. When we plus this percentage and this number, it's uh, 46,246,32. And then we plus these two numbers, they gave us what? 146,509, and then comma 99, uh, comma 32. And then now, we are not done. Remember, we want to know. What is a taxable, tax payable, tax payable? We have to know what is a tax payable. And then now, what? how do we know that? We have to take this number the way it is. We don't change it. We take this number, we bring it down. And then now, remember, we said Marius is in the age of what? Of 64, which is false under primary, false under what? Primary. So we have to take the amount that it's in primary. We have to do what? We have to take the amount that it's in where? Primary. We minus the number that it's in primary, which is in primary, it's 14,000. It's 14,222. We have to minus it. After minusing it, we get our answer here. What is our answer? It's 132,289,32. That's our final answer. That is our final answer of 5.1.2. Remember I said, mathematical literacy, we must listen to the English. They said, calculate the amount of tax Marius must pay for 20... 19 and 2020 tax year. Now we're calculating the amount that Marius must pay. How did we calculate it? We first went, we first knew that Marius falls under bracket number four. After finding out that Marius falls under bracket number four, we did what? We went to what? The number that is written in bracket number four. We wrote it the way it is. We did not change anything. And then now, secondly, we did what? We 
we we we, we took this hundred thousand twenty six uh, two hundred and sixty three thousand. We wrote it here. We even took the percentage. And then now, in the statement, they told us that Marius, his taxable income is five hundred and fifty one thousand. 762 and then now we took that amount and then we went to the text bracket again and then we took the number that is written here after taking it we take the amount of marias we subtract that amount that is written in the uh, taxable income in the in the bracket and then now we take this hundred thousand the way it is hundred thousand two hundred and sixty three the way it is we bring it here and then we take what we take this at uh, 36 percent we put it inside the, the 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 bracket and then we times what the amount that we found here this amount subtracted this one and then we found this answer and then we write it here the way it is we close the bracket we take this hundred thousand two hundred and sixty three the way it is and then we write it here and then we put the sign of addition and then we add the amount that we found here we put we add we write the amount that we found here after that we do what we now calculate this hundred thousand two hundred and sixty three and then plus this amount where did we get this amount we got it here where did we get this amount we get it here this is a bit like they borrow each other they go together and then now this is the final answer that we found so now we have to calculate the tax payable which is now it gives us what a uh, hundred and forty six thousand five hundred and nine comma thirty two minus this fourteen thousand two hundred and twenty two where do we get this fourteen thousand two hundred and twenty two we got it where in the tax bracket of who marias i mean in the tax rebate where it says marias is 64 years that means we will fall under primary and then there it's written this amount so we took there and then we minus it and then it gives us what this is our final answer for 5.1.2 now we move to the second question which is a 5.1.3 let us see how to write 5.1.3 this is how we write it uh, 5.1.3 we now have to calculate 5.1.3 how do we calculate it it says marius stated that if he had been one year older he would have saved more than 600 monthly on tax paid during 2019 or 2020 tax year so now we have to prove whether is Marius correct or wrong because now Marius is saying that if he was one year older that means he was gonna be what 65 years and he was gonna fall under bracket number I mean he was gonna fall uh, under secondary not primary so now he's saying if he was 65 years he was gonna be saved uh, 600 so we have to prove by what by calculations so how do we prove it we now have to calculate we now have to calculate that is marius his statement right as i said that once we get it wrong here that means our answer here it's also going to be wrong because now we have to take what this amount we have to remember the rule of both mass. we take the number that is in this side we take the number that is in this side we cannot take what the number that is that side do we understand so now we take this hundred and forty six thousand a hundred and forty six thousand five hundred and nine after taking that amount what do we do we now minus we minus what we minus this remember he's in what primer which is that's the first one He's in primary, which is hundred. I mean, fourteen thousand two hundred and twenty-two. And then now he's stating that if he was sixty-four years old, he was gonna be where in secondary. So that means we have to also take the number that is in secondary. Uh, what is the number that is in secondary? It's a uh, seven hundred and ninety-seven. Oh, uh, it's seven hundred and okay. It's 770. 700 and, 
7,794. Yes, 7,794. We took that number. And then now it must give us the final answer. Which is when we take this one and minus this and minus this, it give us what? It give us a uh, 124,000, That's what it gives us. Remember, we have to uh, understand that he was going to save 600 now. And then now we have to find what? The annual. Annual tax payable annual tax payable which is now when we talk about annual that means we will have to divide it with what with 12 so now we take so now what do we do now we take this number remember we only took this one only don't forget that we only used this number to minus what the primary and the secondary and then it gives this answer the final answer so now we are coming back for this one we don't leave this one because it also has to work so we take this number which is now we will say uh, which is now we are going to say what we are going to say uh one uh, 289,000, 32. And then we minus what? We minus the answer that we found here, which is 124,495,32. So after doing that, we have to do what? Divide it with what? Annual. Annual is what? 12 months. Annual is 12 months. So we have to calculate it with what? Annual, which is we divide it. So now press your calculators and find our final answer and see what is our final answer because on my calculator it's giving us it giving me what 649,50 uh, which is now according to my calculator uh, Marius is correct and then which is this one Marius his statement his statement Is correct so that's how we calculate it and then the last one that we must deal with we have to deal with the last one what does the question says the question says Marius is considering joining a medical fund he plans to include his wife and two grandchildren so remember we said Marius is not a member of any medical fund so now he's planning to join the medical fund so how do we find it that uh, how much he will pay? And then now the question says, determine the total monthly medical credit. He would do what? He would uh, qualify to join if uh, he joined a medical. Remember, he's saying that Marius is considering of joining medical aid. He, he, he plans to include his wife. That means they are now two. He plans to include his wife and also what? Two grandchildren, which is all of them, there will be four. So we have to calculate how, which one. So remember, the medical aid, the main member, if you are one, is 310 rand. 310 rand, that's him, uh, plus 310 rand, which is the wife. 310 rand, which is the wife. Which is uh, 310 rand, which is the wife. And then, after the wife, where do we go now? He also plans to add what his grandchildren, which is uh, for one grandchildren or an additional member is 209. So how many are they? There are two, those grandchildren. And then we say this, and then we calculate this amount. And then what do we do? We now take these two numbers. We don't calculate. We take those two numbers, and then we say 110 plus uh, 310. And then we give the answer of where? Of here. 209 times 2. It gives us how much? It gives us a 480. And then we now have to add all of these numbers, which is the final answer. It gives us what? 1038.
That's our final answer. So that's how we calculate what tax rebate. That's how we calculate what tax rebate. In this way, you have earned a lot of marks because now if I want to calculate it's two marks here uh, plus five marks of these calculations plus six marks of these calculations plus four marks of this calculation. So do you see how many marks did you already collected in this question? That means you will be able to pass your final examination without any doubt because now it's what? It's a 5 plus 6 which is a 11. 11 and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All of these things is 17 marks. It's 17 marks. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Anyone who feel like don donating, you can donate whatever you have. It's all accepted. You can donate with money, you can donate with uh, clothing, you can donate with cows, you can donate with uh, anything that you feel like you want to donate. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share so that you can get more content relating to this. The more you watch my videos is the more you understand them. Keep watching if you can repeat it. Keep watching it so that you can see how do we calculate this because I expect each and everyone to master this because in your final examination you are going to get it there.